All right. Miss Teresa's lawyer for Kaneko stated that someone had to see Kaneko go into the freezer and lock her in. Either that or someone knew she was in there and locked in. Right? Now, can we prove that someone seen her go in? Not at this moment. But we can prove that someone seen her struggling in the hallways stumbling around in the hallways. Better yet, we can prove that they were in the area where the monitors had to be, okay? We know that the monitors are behind the front desk, not directly in front of the front desk where you can see cameras for instance, here, not these monitors, okay? Even though they can still see if they click into the system, but not these monitors, all right? There's a wall. Let me go over here and show you. There's a wall uh, here in the front lobby behind the front desk. Okay, there's a wall behind the front desk, all right? So I'm pretty sure somewhere up behind that wall, not directly behind the wall, it can be another uh, room somewhere behind that wall that has the monitors in it because that's where the police went when they went to review the monitors, okay? They went behind that wall, all right? Uh, 54 keys proved that they went behind the wall so this guy the security guard he was definitely in those areas at that time but what we're going to do is we're going to give you a key of reference, okay? And that key of reference would be where Kanika was, her whereabouts, right? So I'm not going to fully play any of these videos because you've seen her come out the elevators. I'm just using these as a key of reference as far as the time frame, okay? So we have 325, her coming out of the elevator, right? Uh... Then we have give me a second. Three twenty five thirty five. Her coming up that round. Okay. Three twenty six thirteen. She's coming around that corner. Three twenty seven oh three, she's coming up that same hall. All right.
that's her 327 47 that's her again coming back around 328 This is her 329 in the lower level bathroom area. Okay. And just for a note, I don't think anyone has showed this yet. Kanika read this sign. And I'm saying that because I just want to show you how aware she still was. Right? I just want to show you how aware Kanika still was because in my previous videos or several of my previous videos I showed you how she was being yanked when she was in that top kitchen right when she was in the upper kitchen I showed you when she walked around that corner in that area of the refrigerator she was being yanked on somebody was pulling on her okay she had a little bit of sense to know not to walk into a fucking freezer, all right? So, just to let you know, she read the sign. <clears throat> this is the girl's bathroom, okay? I'm going to show you down on the same floor, in the same footage, how much sense she had. Watch. Okay, she read that sign and kept walking. Because she really wasn't studying no bathroom at that time. That had to hurt right there. That had to hurt. Alright. Straighten herself out. Again, she got some kind of sense. She straightened her, her chest out. She walks over there. Don't know if she went in that room in that area or if she took a sip of water. But watch when she come back. All right. We're going to get back to the security guard. But I just want you to see how much sense she had and how much she displayed it. Here's the second one or the third one. She walks in. Now, in the female, upon entering, a men's bathroom you will see the urinals where men take a leak at right when you see those you automatically know okay this is not a woman's stall this is not a woman's installment no one installed that there for a woman. That was installed for a man to stand in front of and pee, right? You don't think that's the reason why she came out of that bathroom so fast? Watch. You pay attention. In seconds. She came out in seconds. It didn't take her a whole minute to figure that out. She came out in seconds. Okay. She had her sense. Now was she lost? Possibly. Was she trying to be somewhere at a particular time? Doubt it. Was someone luring her? Possibly. But she had a sense. Alright. She had a goddamn sense. So. Between. Three. Twenty. Nine. Reading that sign between 329 and 331. All right, 
she was down here in the lobby area. I mean, uh, the lower level uh, bathroom area between 329 and 331. I want you to remember that. Okay? I want you to remember that. 329, 331. She was down here. 332, she was here. All right? And again, I'm going to show you, just for the sake of it, how she was being snatched, right? She paused and said, oh, now she's leaning and being yanked on. Y'all can see that. Come on. She's being yanked on. Somebody was standing around that corner. She seen him. She paused. They started yanking on him. Right? Again, she's still under influence of whatever it is that she took. Or whatever it is that somebody gave her. She's still under the influence. All right? This person had to be someone of authority to be grabbing on her that way and she don't completely freak the fuck out, okay? There had to be some sort of authority for her to not freak completely out. Coming around that corner, all right? So anyway, Three thirty-two is when she entered into this kitchen area upstairs. Now, again, I showed you all of her whereabouts, right? She came off the elevator roughly three twenty-five. Three twenty-five oh five, right? And she ended in the kitchen at 3.32. She ended up in the kitchen at 3.32. So, <clears throat> here it is, security guard, coming from the restroom. This is him going to the restroom. That's at 317, he enters into the restroom area. And then he comes out seven minutes later. And goes back into the front desk area. All right. So, this is where the nitty gritty starts. All right. I'm going to let the footage behind the front desk play. footage to the left is not going to be in sync because there's really any activity in that hallway at this time of the morning so every 10 seconds it's going to uh, switch to a new footage being captured to your right Okay, now, as we do this, I'm going to bring that back just a little bit just in case you miss him coming in. Remember, at 324-25, he comes into that side door from the, the uh, management hallway. Coming from the bathroom, he comes back into the front desk area roughly 324-25, right? And as you can see him here at 324.47, uh, we'll get back to this right here. Give me a second. I 
want to sync this in with the front lobby. All right. sync that in with the front lobby and now you have her approaching the desk and you'll see her approach the desk just a little bit in that corner then as she moves a little further towards her right you'll see her coming in view of the footage Now at this time he is the security guard is in the front desk area. All right. He's somewhere behind that wall that I showed you. But I told you the monitors is at he's somewhere behind that wall. Kanika is walking the halls. Now, I want to bring that back one more time when he walks in. I want to show you exactly what it is he's grabbing. I'm on the wrong time, possibly. Okay, I was looking for 325.47. It's actually 324.47. He's going to walk away from that area, and then the security guard is going to come in and grab his walkie talkie. He didn't want to go in the bathroom with his walkie talkie. That's understandable. Okay, it's not 324.47. Well, we'll see it. We'll see it. away yeah I think it was roughly three yeah okay you see that he's putting it on his hip he grabbed it off the desk and putting it on his hip right it's security work all right he needs his walkie-talkie so he's coming back out of the bathroom and grabbing his walkie-talkie off the desk and putting it back on his hip. Now, he goes back where he came from, right? Pause this just a second so I can sink in a little bit. All right. Now, my thing from here and on out, right? How long did the security guard stay behind that wall? Because right now he's still behind that wall, all right? And those guys walk in. I want to show you something else, okay? There's only two ways he can come out of that office area that 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 front desk area there's only two ways he can come out all right one way is well back the way he came from let's see what's this 332 I believe I Okay. Give me a second. So at three twenty four, he walks in, 
Right. Now remember, between 329 and 321, I mean 329 and 331, Kaneko was in the lower level bathroom area, right? 332, roughly 332, 40 something, Kanika was in the upper kitchen, right? Uh, the same kitchen with the freezer that she was found in. So from 324, he's in this hall, he walks in that door, and he never comes back out. Okay, he never come back out in this area. It's 332, 04, 05, 06. He never come back, in, uh, back out in this area. Now, I will show you where he came out from. Okay, I will show you that. So give me time. And let's go to... food court hall right let's go to the food court hall and okay we know he was behind the front desk at 325 21 right so let's see if he came out of this door before 332 because again after 332 Kanika was you know being pulled and from my analysis pushed into that freezer that was at 332 so it's 325 now we're gonna let it play until it get until it reached the 332 right Again, Kanika is still roaming the hall under the influence of whatever drugs she took. Or whatever drug they gave her. Alright, guys came in. Had left. Oh, I should have sunk that in. I should have sunk that in. Let me do that. I mean, just give it time it's going to be brief because like i say after a certain amount of time no motion or you're away from the camera too far away from the camera um it gives it a 10 second ruling and then it skips to uh the next available captured footage okay so he's kind of looking like, who's these dudes coming in? Who these niggas coming in? All right, they know him. They telling him, yo, bro, you're going the wrong way. Remember, Kanika just came off the uh, elevator, so she's roaming the halls. Okay, let me pause the, the lobby footage. You see what time it is over here in the full court area? It skipped. Okay, it skipped. It skipped to 331. So he didn't come out of this side. All right? He didn't come out of this side. And we'll let it roll until 332. But well, he didn't come out of this side. He didn't come in or out of this side between the time of 324 and 332. He didn't come in or out of this side so this right here is ruled out the other side the management hall where he was coming in and out uh going to the bathroom and coming back behind the front desk 
he he never came back out after 332 or any time before that so that side of, of the halls are ruled out okay so the only thing we have left here is the front lobby right so here we go here we go is that 332.02 so we're going to stop this our main focus is over here to the right in the lobby area as a matter of fact before we do that let's sync this in with the lobby because he do step back into the um he do step back right behind the front desk once again before he come back out and there he is right he gets a piece of paper he has a pen in his hand he's going back behind that wall okay what is the security's job behind that wall to watch those monitors Kanika is roaming the halls he's behind that desk watching those monitors now he's going to come out with some paperwork but hell that don't mean he didn't see the monitors he's back there with him that don't mean he didn't see the monitors A second ah uh, what's going on okay So he narrowed him down to no other possible way of coming out except for here, this lobby area. He didn't come out in the management hall. He didn't come out in the food court hall. Nor did he enter back in that area after leaving out from this area. So he's going to come out with some paperwork on the clipboard. I believe it was a clipboard he was holding with some paperwork on it. He's going to come out. But hell, he's back there with the monitors as well. And Kanika is doing what? Still roaming the halls. In fact, let's pause this. Let's see where Kanika's at. It's 328.38. Let's see where she's at. She's here. Okay, 2038. She's here. Okay, bathroom. All right. So between here and here. Three twenty eight thirty eight, right? Between here and here is where she's at. So he's been back there long enough to see her coming up. Uh, this other hall, let me show you. He's been back there long enough to see her coming up this hall. At least long enough to come up this to see her coming up this hall. At least. Alright. Meaning he's seen all of this. Chest popping out, looking discombobulated. He's seen all of that. Right? In an area where he know nobody's at. He's seen all of that. He had to. That's why they had to get rid of him. All right. 
and just for those who think that that was a glitch it wasn't it was just maintenance that's maintenance let me bring it back so you that was maintenance dealing with um I think that was a uh, vacuum cleaner it was dealing with but it wasn't her it, it had nothing to do with her Yeah, he was dealing with the um, vacuum cleaner or whatever. But we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not going to watch that. Okay, so he was back there long enough to see this, right? Come on now. You already know what they think when they see something like this. And she's in the area where nobody is at. Okay, this time of morning. All right. He sees this. All right. He's back there with the monitors. He sees what's going on. Okay, shit is flashing. The lights are flashing. Let them know, hey, someone's in this area. Someone's in that area. This time of morning, he's really paying attention to those monitors. Now, during the daytime where you get a lot of activity, you're not really so invested into the monitors that much but in the wee hours like this three in the morning you know there's area uh th there's areas that has been you know secluded off from the rest of the public at this time of morning so your job is to watch these monitors he's back right there with those monitors all right but again like i say He's going to pop out with some paperwork. Did I sink it in? That boy good. Alright. So he's going to pop out with some paperwork. And after he pop out with his paperwork, we will no longer see him uh, before 332. He's not in the, um, here he goes here. He's gonna pop out here with his paperwork on the clipboard. Let me see her passing by on the other end. You can see the little boy with the little thing on his neck playing in front of the desk. Okay, so he was back there with the monitors when Kanika was roaming the halls. All right, so he can't say that he wasn't at least back there with the monitors. This is the reason why they had to get rid of him because he seen certain shit. Okay, I'm pretty sure he seen people lurking around. You know, the ones that they deleted uh, deleted out of the footage. You know what I mean? The ones that they, you know, took out of the footage. Oh, man. He's seen what happened. Or should I say he's seen what led up to what happened. All right. He saw the players. All right. He may not have seen the actual incident, but he saw the players. He saw who was involved. All right. And just so happened here is Bree Bree. She comes popping her ass up. 
because they alerted her to let her know that Kanika is missing. So at this point, Kanika is about to enter the kitchen. It almost looks like a ritual, don't it? <laughs> mm -hmm. And again, this guy did not come directly behind her. This was hours, like 17 hours later. All right. But, um, yeah, he was definitely back there. He, he definitely seen her roaming those halls in the, um, in the state of mind that she was in or in the condition that she was in. He definitely had to get a, get at least a peek of what was going on before she entered into the upper kitchen with the freezer, all right? So he can't play plumb dumb, all right? He can't play plumb dumb in this whole situation, he can't. So Kanika's, law uh, Kanika's mom's lawyers need to find that guy. They seriously need to find him. I don't know will not work. Okay? Telling us I don't know will not work. We know you will bite there with the monitors. We know this. That's not going to work. Alright? So... You know, the hotel may think they have one up on the lawyer because, you know, he state he did state that someone had to know that she was in the freezer and locked the door. All right. He stated that himself. So can't really prove that someone knew that she was in the freezer at the time it was happening. But we do know that someone seen what was going on leading up to her entering into that kitchen. All right. And he seen or had to see the environment around her. In other words, he had to see who else was around her, lurking around her, stalking her. He had to see that. And if he's seen none of that and just only seen her, he still didn't do his job. Okay? He still did not do his job. But him going, you know, out of town or out of the country, that doesn't... Uh, uh, fit as well as you know firing an, uh, an employee that, that that's not the same you sending him out of the country is not firing him that's not the same so um hope this helps 
and I'll be back with something further. Your main man, Killer, is up next. Got something for him. <laughs>